what's up, Dirty Cones? So, on today's show, we're going to discuss why cones should not procreate, and then we'll delve into why cones are so stupid they're not extinct like the dodo. Not really. Um, <laughs> uh, if I had an imaginary pretend show, which I guess I kind of do have an imaginary pretend show, uh, those are the hard-hitting topics that we would discuss but uh, since we're lucky, I don't have those kind of shows. Okay, so the term cone comes from Saturday Night Live sketch with uh, Dan Aykroyd and Jane. Not good all, because that's the Gorillas in the Mist lady. Jane, not Wayland. That was the guitarist for the Go Go's. Jane. All right, we'll have to come back to her, but Jane. Anyway, so the Coneheads, also, I believe, a 1986 TV sh- cartoon, no, uh, movie of the same name from uh, producer Lauren Michaels. Uh, the Coneheads, uh, two instructors at that time, uh, Steve Rodman and, uh, God dang it, not Feed, um, um, He's Doc's dad. Dang it. Man, I am on a... It's been a rough day. I got a headache. And, um... Okay, yeah, so... (laughs) The other guy. We'll call him Doc's dad. Um... I I didn't sleep well last night. It was a long day at work, so I apologize. Uh, anyway, so... They watched the movie, laughed their asses off. And were like, man, that reminds us of the students. So the next day, you know, they're yelling at the students. They're like, yeah, you got a bunch of dumb cone heads. And over the years, cone heads has evolved to cones. And that is why we call PJ and combat control students cones. So that was one question. Um, second question. What do I think about women in pararescue? I, I don't have a problem with it. I, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but the future is going to happen whether you want it or not. Um, people are going to do it, you know. I mean, we can't even get guys to graduate, so um, let anybody try out. It doesn't matter. If you want it, you'll make it. If you don't want it, you won't make it. It doesn't matter if you're male, female, whatever. Strong, not strong. It's all in your head. Anybody can do this course. You just have to want it. So... Um, I have a chivalristic problem with it just because, I don't know, I value, I guess, women and children above uh, men, but I don't, I don't, it's not a misogynistic, you know, women can't do it type of point of view, it's a respectful, you know, children are our future, our greatest resource type of thing, and women can make children, so... I'm not saying that they should only be forced to make children. I'm saying that they have the ability to make life. And so I think therefore, and it might sound stupid, but it's just, you know, women are a little bit more valuable than guys, you know? So that's my thought. You you feel free to disagree. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, um, you know, I mean, look at... Uh, Look at the world these days. I mean, you know, people are doing what they want to do. You know, I'm I'm kind of bummed out with all the riots. I'm I'm all about peaceful protests. I'm all about you know getting out there, getting the message. You know, the Million Man March, or you know, the March on March on Washington with uh, Dr. King. Uh, I think it's important to get the the message and the word out there. But uh, looting and shooting and hurting people and burning business down, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't help anybody, so, I think that, uh, I don't know, we gotta find a a better way to communicate with each other, and, and, uh, so I don't know, if anybody's got any ideas on how to communicate, you know, feel free to drop, drop by, I was listening to Bob Edwards this morning, it's really good, they were talking about how we don't pay teachers enough which I think is very true. We don't pay teachers enough. And they were saying that, you know, 
the the money we're not spending on teachers, the money we're not spending on kids when they're young to teach them correctly, is the money we're spending on them once they get, or to get them through the court system, then to put them in juvenile hall, then to put them in jail, then to put them in prison. Think about if we took that money beforehand, you know, I mean, because it's going to be spent either way. Why not spend it on teaching people, helping people out of their economic woes, you know? It's almost like we got a caste system. I mean, you know, if you're born in the inner city, what are your chances of getting out, you know? Um, I don't know the statistics on that question, but I do know that uh, being born in certain places, I mean, it's just like being born in America. You know, you got a better chance of being born in America than just about anybody else, you know? And so, uh, you know, to them, that much is given, much is uh, needed to be given back. And that's a horrible uh, mess up on that quote, but the, the gist of it is, is if, if you're privileged, you should be grateful for what you got and you should give back. Don't be a taker, uh, be a giver. I mean, sometimes you gotta take, but not in that kind of way. Um, so yeah, so Combs, women, um, there was something else. Alright. Anyway, so I guess it'd be a quick one today. I was listening to Neil deGrasse Tyson talking with Seth MacFarlane. Uh, very good, very, very good, uh, conversation between those two gentlemen. Really enjoyed it. And, uh, so if you go on Star Talk Radio on the podcast on iTunes or whatever the other one's called, uh, listen to it. I like it. I think Neil deGrasse Tyson, Dr. Tyson's got some uh, pretty good, uh, he's a level-headed guy. You know, he's, um, he just, I don't know. I like him. He's got, he's got good words. He's got a good heart. And uh, I think his interest and intent is trying to make the world a little bit better place, you know, uh, he just happens to be a scientist, so that's the way he speaks, so check him out, I think you like it, um, I think that's about it, so I can go back to listening to the rest of that conversation, I just, uh, it was a commercial, and it was gonna be quick, but as you know me, I, nothing's ever quick, um, so, hope you guys have a wonderful Monday, have a great Air Force day. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. And uh, as someone pointed out to me, tomorrow or possibly the next day is uh, May the 5th or, or 6th or 6th. So may the 6th, 5th be with you for tomorrow. Might as well just make the whole week Star Wars. Um, so have a good one, Dirty Cones and non-Dirty Cones alike. And I will talk to you later. Hoo-yah.